Here I am warming up for another early spring dive in my 3mm wetsuit out at Porto. I headed out to the end of the ferry dock expecting to set up a time lapse of some sea cucumbers I'd seen the previous week there. But the visibility was really awful. I didn't even make it down to the bottom before I gave up. It seemed that we were in the midst of a spring phytoplankton bloom. So if I wasn't willing to dive, I thought I might make the swim out to a quarter mile past Porto just to get a bit of exercise in. Once there, of course, I couldn't resist diving. I used the rocks as a way to feel my way down to deeper water and found that once you hit about six or eight meters, things actually cleared up fairly nicely. I found what looked to me to be a very large red sea cucumber, its tentacles very extended, trying to capture as much plankton as possible. I found a small cave and after checking the opening to make sure it was safe to poke my head in there, found a small lingcod sitting on some eggs. You can see it makes a snapping motion with its mouth. I assume that's some sort of warning. It seemed to have a nice garden of petal sea cucumbers. I dove out along the rocks at quarter mile past Porto for a while, hitting depths of about 16 meters and dives of a duration out to about a minute 37 seconds and that was kind of a mistake when diving a three mil at this time of year diving that long uh, almost always results in getting cold and that's exactly what happened to me so i decided to warm up by making a quick swim back to the main diving area which warmed me up to make a few more dives. These giant plumose anemones look absolutely huge to me. Once again, I think they've swollen up to try and capture as much of the current plankton bloom as they can. These short plumose anemones didn't look particularly big to me, but I guess they're trying to take advantage of the current plankton bloom as well. This said, time of year must be kind of like Christmas for them, with all the food available in the water column. So in the end, I spent over an hour diving out in my 3mm wetsuit in about 8 degree water, and I was pretty comfortable most of the time. But the accumulated heat from my initial workout would only last so long, and it was time to head in.